Hi, this is Di. It is our second day, July 2nd, 2021, and we are camping in the Olympic National Park. And we kind of had a rough night. I had a stomach ache, which I have health problems, and I didn't sleep very well, so I made two trips to the restroom. Well, not really the restroom, to the pail. And then <laughs> I woke us up a couple times, so it was kind of a rough night, got a late start, just been hanging out around the campfire, and now we're gonna take off and go do some exploring in the park and go into town. Say I used the pail, here's our setup. We have this little outhouse, it's portable and pops up. We use this to change clothes. We have a pail with a seat and a lid on it. Inside is a double lined trash bag and a packet of gel to help absorb sm smells. The restrooms at this campground are about a football field away uphill in the dark and I just wasn't up to it. First time of me making use of the pail. Jerry went on a camping trip where he made use of the pail before. Actually, him and his brother shared it. Not at the same time. <laughs> what you got there, Jerry? That's $5 I've ever spent. What is it? It is a half gallon garden sprayer from Harbor Freight. Use it to wash dishes, miss myself, fire up. He uses it to put water on his toothbrush. Use it for everything. It's faucet. Love this. Thing. I'm not as attached to it. You don't use it. You don't. I used it. I just don't love it like you. You haven't do. embraced it? No. Always remember to put your fire out. Let's see our woods a little bit. It's pretty. They had a big blow down here in 1979. A bunch of trees blew down. And the bridge we came in on, the um, Hood Canal Bridge, sunk. Do you hear the woodpecker? Now I keep calling us overlanders, but I think I might be overstating. Are we truck campers or overlanders? We're truck campers. We're truck campers. Not overlanders. I call us overlanders. There's no four-wheel driving involved. You have four-wheel drive? Right, but it's not going to be used. If it got used, I made a mistake. See, our bed is up here. Got our stuff thrown in the road. There are bears around here, so we have to keep our food locked up. So we keep it behind the driver's seat along with a supply of extra large gloves and some slip-on shoes apparently and a fire extinguisher if we need it. that you can have a panic attack in your sleep. I found that out last night <laughs> when um, I woke up at four o'clock in the morning in a panic attack because I dreamed that the space was so small in the back of the truck that when I turned over, I couldn't turn over onto my side without hitting my hip on the ceiling. <laughs> it isn't that small. It's small, it's not that small. He knew you could have a panic attack in your sleep. I didn't know. I mean, I've had night terrors and stuff before. Maybe that's what they are. I don't know. But I woke up and had to sit outside the truck for a while before I could go back in. If you're gonna truck camp, make sure you don't have any claustrophobia. The other thing I did was I opened the window so I could breathe and I opened the curtain so I could see out. Not that there was anything to look at, but it helped.
look at that. Steep. I don't know if you can see how this steep it is. This is steep. This is one of the steepest dirt roads I've ever been on. Oh no. Without it being like a four-wheel drive trailer. This is steep. Center and the parking lot. The deer are. you might be able to see into town. Can you see? There's Port Angeles and Puget Sound. See it right there? Now this is like Hawaii. These kind of views. Okay, we've got this great big valley and over here. So. It's almost like they're like, hey, you guys gonna feed us or what? Maybe. Maybe that's the problem. Hey, how you doing there, little buck? We have made it to the top of, well, the end of the road to obstruction point. It seems to be a place where you can go off and go hiking or whatever. And of course we found more animals and it has a vault toilet. So I'm going to go to the restaurant. She bedded down in the shade. Look at that view. You can't really blame her.
cute. Oh my gosh. You're so cute. Oh, and they're in the road. Come on, they're fine. Come on. Move it's along, your, little doggies. It's your truck I'm worried about, not them. They're in their natural habitat. Oh I am not. Oh my gosh. You're so cute. The car died, I got no power brakes, got no power steering, and I'm on Hurricane Ridge Road at the very top. So yeehaw, soapbox derby time. And we have no power, no power steering, no power brakes, no ABS brakes, no gauges. So we didn't even know how fast we were going. Oh, and no headlights and it's starting to get dark.